At Olympia, barking, prancing and wagging their tails, over 4,000 dogs of all sizes filled the Grand Hall for the opening of Crufts Show. Four generations of my family have been showing at Crufts and I have been part of Crufts Dog Show for more than 60 years. It's certainly the best job in the world and I love it. I suppose you could say it's a dog's life for our family. Some generations later, that's dear old Dandy who Dandy, you yes. remember, and, then we've and got Copper that we were showing Copper. at the same time. Well, there's Mrs Croft. I'm Jennifer Lloyd Carey. I was born into the world of dogs and my grandfather showed at the first Crafts and my father's been very prominent at winning at Crafts. I've attended Crafts for about 60 years and my daughter Paula has exhibited at Crafts as well. It's really been a family affair for many years. The dog show world would lose some of its glamour if there wasn't a Crafts to go to. Once again, Crafts proves to be as successful as ever. Crufts 2012, the greatest dog show in the world. It has changed a lot over the years. It always has been a tremendous atmosphere. It really is regarded as the, the top, the best there is. My grandfather was Richard Lloyd, who started our strain of Cocker Spaniels in 1875. And in fact, he won a first prize at the very first Crufts in 1891. And Charles Cruft had put this show on to be the biggest and greatest and best in the world. Of course, I don't remember him. He was before my time. But I remember Mrs. Cruft appearing at the first Crufts after the war and presenting the trophy to my father for best in show. Obviously, I was a child at that time. We hung on to his coattails through the crowd. It was jam-packed all around the ring and crept in behind him so that we could kneel down or sit down at the front so that we could see what was going on there. It was really marvellous and it was a very proud moment. My father was very successful with his Cocker Spaniels. They are such a wonderful breed. A steady, steady. They're game for anything. If you want to sit quietly by the fire, they will. If you want to go for a walk, they'll jump up and go with you. It is possible that there isn't a, a cocker in the world today that can't be traced back to my father's Cocker Spaniel's pedigree. And there was always a number of people following him around at shows because of his remarkable achievements. During the Second World War, he was employed by the War Office to train army war dogs. Some members of the public were not able to keep their dogs for reasons of you know, being able to feed them and so on and a number of the dogs had been donated to the War Dog School by the general public. They were trained for mine detection. A lot of work was done at night and some of them went uh, abroad, to, particularly to Belgium, to do this work. For this service he was awarded the MBE. Unfortunately one handler lost his legs but there were no dogs lost. They all performed perfectly. My daughter Paula also shows at Crafts from time to time and she has been attending for very many years. I'm very proud that I've got another generation to pass the mantle on to.